Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for a group. For today's craft, we're gonna be doing bubble paint flowers. Let's get started. Grab your bowl of water. There should be half a cup of water in here. Now put three drops of food coloring into the water. Give it a stir. And then grab your dish soap and put one, two drops. Now we've, now that we've mixed it up, it's bubble blowing time. Blow into the straw and make a big bubble mountain. I'm gonna take out my straw, grab my piece of paper, I'm gonna place it gently on top. I'm going to press down until all the bubbles pop. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to keep doing it until it covers most of the paper. If it's not dark enough, you can always put a little bit more food coloring. I'm gonna put one more drop. I'm going to do it one last time. Oh, 
Let's set this aside to dry and let's take a yoga break. Let's start by holding downward dog for 30 seconds. Now let's hold tree pose for 30 seconds. For a greater challenge, place your foot a little bit higher. Try and focus on something with your eyes to help keep your balance. Next pose, let's hold warrior two for 30 seconds. For our last stretch, let's reach our hands up high and lean towards one side. Reach up high again and lean towards the other side. Good job holding all these yoga poses. Let's get back to our flower. To make the leaves for our flower, we need green construction paper. We need to draw out the leaves. Start at the very bottom. Draw a curved line up and a curved line down. Now fold the paper in half. Make sure you line up the edges. This way you get two leaves when you cut it out. In this space here, I'm gonna draw another leaf. I'm gonna grab my scissors. Now I'm gonna cut it out. Make sure you cut directly on the line. I'm now going to set these leaves aside. Now that the flower is all dried, grab your scissors and we're now going to cut it out. We're going to cut around the curves.
by cutting along the curves, it makes the flower look more realistic. Grab your leaves and your glue stick. Flip your flower over and apply the glue onto the leaves. We want to make sure we're gluing the leaves onto the back of the flower. This is how you make a flower with two leaves. Another option would be to add four leaves to the flower. You would do the same thing and apply glue to the leaves first. Now it's time to stick the leaves on. I'm going to overlap my leaves like this. There you have it. Here's your bubble paint flower.